Hey everybody, before we get into the video, I do have some Flashebo devices that I am going to give away along with some codes to redeem the full version of the iOS application. Just leave a comment down below and I will select a couple of you. Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. Well, today's episode is definitely going to fall in the category of much, much more as I want to talk about Amiibos and more specifically, I want to talk about this device, which I got back here on October the 6th, which is called the Flesh Ebo. Now, this device emulates the Intag 215. And if you're wondering what that means, that means that you could generate unlimited number of Amiibos inside of games in order to redeem different types of rewards. So this works with things such as the Switch, the Wii U has support for it, and even the 3DS. The other really cool thing about this is, is that it also has a CR2032 battery, which these are typical batteries that you can find absolutely anywhere. Now, in order to actually write to this device, you're absolutely going to need a iPhone or Android device that can read and write NFC tags. I'm currently using an iPhone 11 Pro Max and your mobile device absolutely doesn't matter because they do have an Android and an iPhone application. So I am going to go ahead and show you the experience that I had for the iPhone where I really just started right here and I downloaded this iOS app called Tag Ebo. Okay, so I opened up the App Store and I found that there is the application called Tag Mebo. So I pressed on the Get button here. Got it installed. Okay, and so here we are. We're at the main menu. Let me just call out a couple of things real quick. So here is where you could get 215 tags. You probably won't be needing that this if you bought the Flesh Ebo like I did, or you're looking through this as a tutorial. The next thing it says is load encryption key. So that is over on their website. And it says the easiest way to get your hands on them is to search for NFC spoofer on Twitter. When I did this, I found a Google Doc Drive and you should be able to find the same exact thing. There may be some reasons why they weren't included just directly on their website, but go ahead and do as told here and open up the Google Drive link. And one other thing to point out is that you can come over to this page on Nintendo's website and you can see all of the different compatible Amiibos by games. So this is a great place for you to go ahead and kind of see here's some of the games that currently supports this. And yeah, with the Flesh Ebo, you can basically generate unlimited Amiibos with it. Okay, so here I am. I've went ahead and I have loaded up the Google Drive and I'm just going to click right here on where it says key retail dot bin and I'm going to go ahead and press the download button up here. And then I hit download again and you can pull up this window here to see your downloads. But it is about 160 bots, so super fast to download. So now I'm going to tap on the load encryption key. And right there is my key retail.bin. So I'm going to press that. Okay, so now it's super important because it says the encryption key has been loaded. You definitely want to make sure yours has that. And now we're going to need to import a bin file. So this is going to be the amiibo that we're about to write to our tag. So in order to do this, you will need to go back to that Google Drive again. And you will see a folder that also has all of these Amiibos in it. So I see Metroid here. I see Pikmin. I see Power Pros Amiibo. That's probably Animal Crossing and a few more. So I'm interested in the very latest and greatest Zelda game, a bin file. And now just go ahead and download it. I'm going to import that bin file and now highlight it. Now press open. Here is the amiibo that I have loaded. Now one thing that's very interesting with this game is, is that you can reuse the amiibo multiple times because it generates a new serial number. 
Okay, and so at this point, let's just go ahead and let's write that to the NFC tag. Post edit Michael here. I did want to tell you that I have used some of the footage that was directly from the website, mainly because I didn't have another phone to capture me actually showing you the iPhone recording the NFC tag. So without further ado, here it is. Then click the button, write NFC tag, and then take your NFC 215 tag, hold it on top where the little scanning part is so that it uploads all the information. Okay, so the very first device that I wanted to test with was my Nintendo Switch. So this is an unpatched V1, and I am running a ROM of the very latest and greatest Zelda. So once you progress a little bit through the story, then you have the option to use Amiibos. And so I'm just going to pull up that menu here on my Nintendo Switch. So you basically just head over to Amiibo, and now you will place your flash Ebo right on the spot that it is indicating in the diagram. So there you can see it basically is on top of that control. And now I just got a bunch of daily rewards. So there's a sky shroom and then there is a bunch of other stuff and then a nice little treasure chest. Now, one other quick thing to keep in mind here is, is that with this device, it automatically generates a brand new serial number each time, which means you could sit here all day long and continue adding more Amiibo awards, which is really what I will just go ahead and I'll do right here. So there I go. I tap it and there's a bunch of different rewards that's coming out just directly by using this flashy bow device. So for the second system that I wanted to test, I obviously picked my Wii U since it is also compatible with Amiibos. Now this Wii U is running Tiramisu. The very latest version of the system software has also been applied. Now the game that I picked was Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. And there is a screen where you can go to Amiibos and that is currently where I'm at right now. So now all I need to do is I need to place my Flashebo right here on this part of the Wii U gamepad. So let's go ahead and let's do that. And by the way, before I continue, I did go ahead and load a Kirby Amiibo on my Flashebo device. So let's go ahead and scan it here. And there, when you see that little animation that just happened, that definitely means that it accepted it. So you will note that right here, Kirby is now holding a star. Previously, he wasn't. So if we go into the game, then all of those rewards are ready to be used. There is other amiibos that you can flash to give you more additional health bars. And you can also change the costume. And then there was a few more power-ups with that. Now, I don't have a 3DS that is jailbroken that I can give this a shot with, but looking at all of the videos, everything seems to work there just as well. Well, so I hope you got something out of this video. And don't forget, if you just leave a comment down below, I am going to pick a couple of winners to get the Flashebo as well as a couple of people to get the iOS app for free. So maybe I will pick you. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.